Just looking at your, your notes and stuff here, Lee, they make a big deal about saying female-led bands. Is that just because it's not the usual in your kind of genre? Uh, wow, well, I never thought about that. Maybe, maybe it's not so usual, you know what, now that you say it. Because, you know, it's like a, this kind of music that's usually prog, rock, art, <laughs> mixture maybe led by vocal male many times. So now I have something to think about. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I suppose we want to tell the record companies the 70s are over, boys. The music's fantastic. I've been listening and I did play some of your stuff earlier on. Of course, coming from where you do, they're going to say there's sort of Middle Eastern or West Asian influences in it. So just why don't you describe a little of your flavour? Pretty much everything you said is correct. I mean, you know, we do... Um, we are very much influenced, obviously, by many things that happened in the 70s. And mm. this band is such a mixture of people and taste so it's all about the mixture of taste of six people and mainly the lead writer who's Guy Benchy Trees and he's a mu big music fan mm. and there's a lot of like 70s and a lot of stuff like Pixies inside yeah and yeah a lot of med yeah you could probably hear that and a lot of mediterranean music because this is where we live it's interesting that you mentioned the 70s because a big deal when you went and bought a record in the 70s was the album artwork but you've brought that up today because your big deal is the uh, animation stuff tell me about that well again the guy is also an animator and an artist and we as a group have a lot of artist friends you know many of our best friends deal with different kinds of art it just becomes like this project where you want to work together and express your art with your friends. Mm. And it became really a fun project, you know, like, hey, we have a song. This is how it started. And one of his best friends are incredible artists to do stop motion animation. And, hey, you know, we like this song. So yep. why don't you let us try and make our art on that one? And it's kind of how it rolled in the beginning. Yeah. we want came to have it, you know. This is what we do. And everything has to have a visual... Um, impact just as the music does yep that makes a lot of sense if you're listening now and you want to check out these guys work both uh, sound and vision it's e-a-t-l-i-z or z uh, they've got their own website just google them as i did very very uh, easy you know when you look at the videos of let's take your videos some people are sort of oral some people are visual i'm wondering for you does the sound feed the pictures or do the pictures feed the sound because either way we get a different experience well, I come from the music, you know, so it'd be difficult for me. I mean, the music would change everything for me, yeah. uh, visual-wise. But it's also kind of funny, you know, the music is, is, is mine, you know, it's, I'm a part of it. But I wouldn't be able to judge. But I think that a good video can change the whole perspective of a song mm. to, to the better for the worse. You know, it depends. There's a good video, you get another dimension you wouldn't probably imagine otherwise. Yeah. I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, a lot of pop videos, they're just gratuitous pictures of people having fun. But yeah. a, a simple way of describing this is if at night time you listen to a track, it's a completely different vibe in the dark to during the day, isn't it? Of course, completely. Tell me a little bit about writing of your stuff. Do you do it all? Do you share it? What happens? The lead writer is guy, Benji Treat. Sometimes we collaborate and sometimes he brings something to the band and the band creates something out of it together. Um, there's a lot of complex complexities in it, please, so it's really different. It, it varies from song to song. Yeah, there's a thing on some of your notes here that you describe your stuff as, quote, complicated pop. I hesitated to use the word pop because it seems way more sophisticated than that, your stuff. But I think uh, pop we mean by... But not, none of the songs really go past four minutes, you know. Radio yeah. friendly. <laughs> exactly, we're radio friendly, you see. <laughs> what, so, what sort of vibe have you had from your audiences uh, so far on this tour? Because obviously, you know, you, now you're doing the China bit, you've been here, there and everywhere. Uh, a home advantage is always good, but now you're the other side of the world. Well, we came here because we received so many responses. Great. It's like uh, usually when we go on tour, it's after we know that we've been like recognized in that part of the world and or invited or, you know, it's really difficult to bring six people and with so much equipment. So you would go usually where you, you'd think you'd be welcomed. And yeah. this is how it happened with China. And we're so extremely thrilled, we can't tell you. Yeah. Like, you say loads of gear and everything. Is, is your on-stage look, again, back to the 70s, when they had, you know, the huge amount of kit on stage, is that anything uh, that you do? Well, we do have tons of effects. Yeah, great. It looks <laughs> you know, great. A lot of guitars. And I like to dress. <laughs> so. Fair enough. I'm just reminded of looking at some old videos of Rush. I mean, man, it was so impressive looking at all that gear. But, I mean, yeah. they could really play it, for sure. 
Yeah, well, I think the guys in it these can play their gear pretty well. No kidding. Your band, yeah. your band sounds fantastic. I mean, this is an obvious question. The name, if you would just explain it, obviously a Hebrew word. Sure. Um, the name Itlis in Hebrew means butchery shop. Okay. And it's kind of uh, something we thought about that we kind of butcher up pieces of genres and put them together. And also the meaning in English that you might think of yourself. Yeah. You're saying butchering up stuff. It's interesting to note that some of your, your current sound, it's, it's offshoots of stuff that's happened in the past. Give me a little brief history, because the word punk keeps coming up in your bio. Wow, the history is huge. I mean, it would come all the way from, you know, what happened in the 70s, the fusion of prog rock or, you know, punk and all types of rock that we found interesting. You know, rock is such a huge word. It's really? like saying, mm. it's like, I don't know. I'm really, really, really bad in name dropping. <laughs> I can say. Feel free, it's totally cool. <laughs> it's just stupid for me to try and analyse this stuff. I mean, the point is, it's an experience, it's great music, end of story, I would imagine. Yeah, it is. It's like, you know, if you're, I think you probably are a music fan. Yeah, sure. You, you know, when you find a band that you love, you go through this whole process of connecting with it and being so thrilled that you found it. And, and this is something that all of us as band members went through our entire lives. Like yes. Watching bands and enjoying them and appreciating them. And we we're musicians as well. So yeah. we would take the material and try and play it and play your own stuff when you were influenced by it. And this is the cycle. And you just keep being thrilled about music, you know. It's always interesting to talk to musicians from different countries of the world. Your country is in the news quite a lot, considered a political hotspot. What do you reckon the role of artists is in any country like that? I don't, I don't know, you know, because... Usually when we go on tour, I mean, we really try to concentrate on the music. And what usually happens afterwards is people come to us and go like, wow, I had no idea that Israel had music like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because if they would just stop putting the bad stuff on the news, well, that, that's, that, I'm they I'm might have some fun finding time for the good stuff. I've yeah. had this conversation with a few people this week because there's been some Pakistani and Indian writers here. Everybody's the best of friends. It's just the news guys that ruin it. <laughs> And you know how many times we came across um, musicians from Arab countries and it was like, hey, guys. Exactly. How, like the, no one is angry at no one but the politicians. It's insane. And it's just sad. So we can, you know, obviously it's extremely complicated and yes. much more complicated than what I just said. But as far as we go as individuals who just live our lives yes. and do our art, we just, you know, we wish the attention could sometimes go to somewhere else.